fantastic show, and you're going to be seeing some more live performance a little bit later on. I mean, we talked um, a little bit about the album and um, how there was quite um, a lot more, there was a lot of emotion on there. And do you think that's going to add to the um, intensity of the new songs live, these kind of more emotional topics? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The new ones felt like so much more... Just uh, heavier. I don't, yeah, heavier. Yeah. I don't know. Like, they just felt more meaningful to yeah. me. But then it's, you know, it's because they're brand new, I guess. But it really, it really felt meaningful. I really love the new songs. I love all the songs, but the new songs just really, really, almost really drew something else out of us, you know, out of me. I felt a real strong vibe yeah. in the new song. I liked it. Definitely. I love the new one. The Seventh <laughs> Seal, man. It's like the opening song is the Seventh Seal, right? And that is a heavy track. Oh, uh, and but it's like after that, I got so confident. I'm going, oh, man, we're there now. Oh, man, we're back. Oh, yeah, great. And then the next song, I'm going, uh-oh. <laughs> you know, watch out for my voice. You blew it all out of yeah. the first one, yeah. I mean, actually, quite a few viewers have written in and would like to know, actually, Sammy, um, how you actually prepare your voice for, for a, a gig or a long concert tour. Do you have any kind of special ways of warming up your voice and keeping your voice in trim? Well, just it's just for me, it's singing. The more I sing, like rehearsal is like if you're going to run a marathon, you got to run 26 miles build every day. It, yeah, yeah, you build up to it because tonight I wasn't in training for it. You know, we just did this on the cuff, and I haven't sang for three or four weeks. Even made a peep, you know, been <laughs> except for talking. So, but I think the best thing I can do is just be in tough shape, where my voice, where I can't talk in the morning. I can know I, I know I'm going to sing good that night. <laughs> it's a real funny thing, but it, it's really it's just rehearsal. Okay, well, we're going to show you a little bit of live performance from Van Halen right now from the Luxor Club uh, in Holland, and uh, that's taken us into our final short break. And then after that, we'll be back uh, to have a very quick final word with the guys, and we'll be looking forward to those Bon Jovi shows across Europe in the summer and bringing you all the European tour dates of Van Halen. So stick around. We've got Van Halen live right now, and then after the break, we'll just be back for a final chat with the guys as the Headbangers Ball Van Halen special continues after these messages. Walk me down to the wishing well How to find that miracle Splash that holy water on me Down my face till I deal Oh Final part of this Van Halen special edition of Headbangers Ball. It's been our pleasure to have the band on the sh on the show, the whole entire program, and we're just winding up now backstage at uh, the Luxor in Holland. And as you know, the guys have just played a show and that went li out live on the radio as well. So we're looking forward to the Bon Jovi shows in the summer. And um, actually, actually, before I get on to that, another quick question that lots of people wanted me to ask, and that is um, what is the situation with the Van Halen fan club? Um, because there is a Dutch fan club, but is there a European fan club? No, I Actually, we, we never really had a fan club. Uh, a couple of guys got together and decided to make a few bucks on a living off of it. And we figured, <laughs> <laughs> we figured, we figured no, that's true. And we figured, why not? You know, it's, uh, it's actually bootlegging what they're doing, but it's okay. Uh, 
They're just we, fans. Uh, they got together and made a club. We, we get we get mail right. through our office, and we're one of we're probably one of the few bands who actually opens up and reads it because it doesn't come in by the mountain mm -hmm. to try to sell sell T-shirts or, or, or sell buttons or whatever else. Yeah. So the people who write in and, and get through uh, are real genuine, uh, or actually deserve a genuine response, which we do. And you seem to have a fantastic relationship with your fans as well at the show tonight. It was just a really, really great atmosphere. Hey, I got a bunch of new clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Same old story. I got five or six new shirts, you know, that you'll see on tour. And I'll exchange those after the next show, for the, for, you know. But, you know, the, the thing about a fan club is, like, if we put out, if we were in charge of it, then it's a business. And then it's like uh, yeah. you're well, trying to sell the fans something saying. else. It's like I like let them do it themselves if they want to do it. And we just kind of stay... Uh, separate from it. It's like that's, it's, I don't know, you know, it's like a business. You know what I mean? It's like we go and play for our fans, we make records for our fans, and that's all we really want yeah. to uh, present to them, you know, something we're in control of. And we don't want another business guide, you no. know. <laughs> I mean, next thing you know, we'll be sitting around in an office all day. <laughs> right. I mean, what factors do you attribute to the longevity of Van Halen? Because, I mean, I think it's, I mean, there's obviously, of course, consistently writing good songs and coming out with good records. But, um, I mean, what, what other factors do you think? Is it the fact that you are all such good friends and that you, you know, you get along so well and the chemistry's there? Oh, that and we love doing what we do. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. He's had enough. We gotta take. No mas. No mas. Go home, Mike. Go home before you blow it. No. I think that says it all, really, doesn't it? Usually we can't tell. We don't know anything. We don't know why anything. Just keep on doing it, and you know, honestly, or something. I don't know. You have an answer, Ed. Ed's usually good with one-liners. Yeah, we just have a gas doing it. I think, you know, we gas. mean we mean what we do. Mike, but, but I think you're right. No, no. It's, 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 it's really it's really the music that takes priority. It's good, uh, Mike. No, it's when, I think when we have right. when you have the right music, that everything else just kind of falls around it. Yeah. You know, because bottom line is, if you make a, a lousy record, yeah. you could be all the buddies you want. That's right. You know, yeah. and then what? But it's, it's, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, they just started a fan club. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, we're, we're a little, we're a little bit uh, uh, no, yeah, noise drunk, yeah. so I mean, we're not trying to be smart asses. But.